foreign intelligence services spot and assess potential targets for recruitment. A target with good counterintelligence awareness can be difficult and may require a non-traditional approach. In a false flag operation, an intelligence officer takes on another identity and masks his true allegiance in order to accomplish the mission. Social networking sites have become effective platforms for executing false flag operations and creating these fictitious identities in a virtual world. In the example you're about to see, the Russian intelligence service, the SVR, has spotted a U.S. scientist, Michael Jacobs, and is in the process of assessing him for exploitation. Because of his reduced internet profile and cyber insight, he is a hard target. However, an internet search does reveal information about him, his personal interests, and identifies a friend, Linda Walsh. This ultimately provides an alternate path to compromise his computer. The Russian intelligence officer creates the Facebook personality of Rachel Benton and uses this to make friends with Linda Walsh. Once established, he uses this false friendship to gain access to Michael Jacobs. Michael Jacobs is CCR. Господин Jacobs работает в качестве сотрудника программы по разработке следующего поколения Стелс. Помимо этого, когда его трудно узнать, что у него есть о том человеке, он очевидно был поисуктирован оставаться в тени. Пришло время для нового направления. Хотя мы еще не остановили контакт с ним, мы повели поиск в интернете и выяснили, что он посещает на летнем барбекю для любителей Muscle Cars. Женщина на снимке – это Линда Вольш. Мы можем использовать это, чтобы найти наш способ внедриться. Возможно. Госпожа Вож будет более восприимчива к тому, чтобы с нами подружиться. А после того, когда мы на нее ведем, она послужит нашим агентом для поступу господину Джакобс. Алексей, это твое задание. Слушай, товарищ полковник.
Ой, как дела, Рейчел? Смотри, я познакомился с новым американским другом. А сейчас заведем себе еще одного друга. Теперь мы ждем. Как только он нажмет на ссылку в веб-странице, его браузер будет взломан, и тогда он в наших руках. Uh, joining us now to help us through that and other, uh, other conundrums and explaining this all is Major General Stephen Lanza. He is the spokesman for U.S. forces here in Iraq. Uh, General Lanza, thanks for getting up at 030. No, this is great. Thanks for having me on your show. I know that you've been able to hear a little bit of our coverage uh, tonight while you've been waiting to come on, while we've been, uh, while we've been discussing the historic nature of what's happened tonight with this troop, these troops rolling into Kuwait. Is there anything that you can help us uh, fine-tune, pinpoint in the way wow. the public should understand this? Yeah, I think the way we understand this it's really about a trans Вадим Что? Сработало. Он заглотил наживку. Он попался. Хорошая работа. Хорошая. Молодец. Разрешите войти, товарищ полковник. Майкл Джейкобс Задание выполнено. Хорошо сделано, Алексей. Давайте. Уведем господине Джакобси побольше. И начнем операцию. Слушай, товарищ полковник. In late 2009, a notional person, Robin Sage, was created on Facebook and Twitter as a security experiment. Robin purported to be 25 years old, an MIT graduate, and a cyber warfare analyst for the U.S. Navy. Her profile included an attractive photograph obtained from the Internet. Based solely upon this fictitious profile, she received multiple offers to speak at conferences, to job offers from the defense industry, and was able to obtain contact information from more than 300 members in the military and government. The use of social networking sites is growing exponentially and represents a significant threat to business and personal information. Too often, users are overly trusting and uninformed about the risks associated with the social networking phenomena. Be aware of the threats associated with these sites and don't accept cyber friends at face value.